Hi, and welcome to Bending Emacs episode four. In uh, this episode, I'll show you a few ways of batch renaming a bunch of files. First things first, this is still very much a new channel still. I am only a few weeks into hopefully creating some short and focused videos. Now, before I get to do more of that, I just wanna say thank you to everybody for all of the likes, subscribing to my channel, and of course, all of the comments. Uh, please keep them coming. If you do so, then I'll continue making more videos. So what are we doing today? We're going to be um, batch renaming a bunch of files. We'll take a collection of files. It could be media files, project files, any files really. So the goal here will be to take all of these files and basically rename them all in one go. How are we going to do that? I'll show you a few ways. Um, two of them are going to be centered around um, DIRIT uh, editable buffers. Um, DIRIT is Emacs's directory editor. Uh, directory editor. Um, and DIRIT itself has this seriously awesome uh, feature here, which is um, editable buffers or uh, editable DIRIT buffers. It is probably one of my favorite Emacs features. We'll take that and combine it with something like multiple cursors or keyboard macros um, and, and go ahead and batch rename a bunch of files. So to, to demo that, I'm just gonna pop over to a DIRED buffer. This is a DIRED buffer like any other. I just happen to have hidden uh, the file details here. So that um, editable mode that I was talking about, to go into that, you just press Ctrl X, Ctrl Q, and now you can just edit uh, anything that you see on the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and maybe just type happy here and happy again, um, and then press Ctrl C, Ctrl C, and then your changes uh, take place. These two files have now been effectively renamed. If we want to rename them back to what they used to be, we can go back, editable, uh, go into editable one again, and then uh, edit them, and then press Ctrl C, Ctrl C, and um, the names are back to what they used to be. Now, because this is an editable buffer, um, you can bring in whatever utilities you, you prefer to do multiple changes. Um, I myself, I'm a fan of multiple um, cursors, so I'm gonna go ahead and find something um, um, common amongst all of these files, bring up uh, multiple cursors, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start changing all of the files in one go. So maybe I'll type happy on all of them. Uh, maybe that's not what I want. Maybe what I want is to, um, to have something more generic. So I'm just gonna call it animal. Uh, and maybe I don't want the animal name anymore. I just want to number them. So maybe I can use this um, uh, multiple cursors feature that inserts numbers in there, get rid of the uh, animal name, and then press um, enter to uh, get out of multiple cursors, press control C, control C. And we have now effectively um, renamed all of the files in one go. Now, if I bring up um, uh, git here or majit, uh, we can see that uh, Dirit actually did the right thing in terms of git. You can see all, all of the files have been renamed uh, rather than just uh, perceived as deleted by git. So that's a really nifty feature of Dirit. There is a, uh, um, a setting that we have to um, change for that. Uh, I'll show you in a minute. Um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and um, uh, revert all of these changes refresh here. And so now I'm going to show you a similar flow, but this time around using keyboard macros. Again, we're going to go into editable mode by going by pressing Ctrl X, Ctrl Q. And, and now we're going to start creating a macro. I'm going to press Ctrl X and uh, open paren. And we're now effectively defining a new keyboard macro. So uh, I'll do the similar uh, flow as before. I'm going to type animal. Uh, I'm going to press, uh, I'm going to do dash. Um, for the keyboard macro to enter a number, we can do uh, we can press uh, F3. Uh, so it's now entered the number here. I'm going to get rid of the name, and I'm going to go to the beginning of the uh, of the file name. I'm going to end the creation of the macro, and I'm going to start executing the macro by pressing Control X, Control E, and we can do that a bunch of times. Um, or we we can tell the macro to execute until there's an error and basically does it all for you automatically. As you can see, um, it's done a similar flow here, like um, um, similar to um, multiple cursors, but obviously using a different mechanism. So this being an editable buffer, you can you can bring whatever flow you prefer um, to do these multiple edits. I'll press Control C, Control C here um, just to kind of apply the changes, and you can see uh, in Git that the files have been renamed. 
Um, so those are the two kind of ways using uh, editable buffers. I did mention um, that there's a snippet here or, so, or a setting uh, to enable, um, to make a DIRED uh, kind of get aware in terms of renames. So all you have to do is uh, set the DIRED VC rename files uh, variable to true. Um, so those are the two, um, the two flows are using editor buffers. I also created a dwm shell command uh, uh, command or function some time ago. Um, I'll demo that too. Um, so if we were to basically select all of these files and invoke dwm shell rename all, it's going to ask you for a name. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to say um, uh, animal, oops, uh, and then press enter and it goes and renames them all. Uh, this one there's, is not as flexible as uh, multiple cursors, but uh, basically if you give it a name, it'll uh, take that name and make it unique for all of them and number them for you. So that's it. I showed you a few ways of battery naming files via DIRED. I hope you found this useful. Um, for me, the editable, the, the DIRED buffer, uh, the DIRED editable buffer kind of blew my mind the first time I saw it. Um, I find it super useful and really love it um, to this day. Um, if there's anything else that you'd like me to cover, I have a lot of topics uh, in my blog, so maybe have a look through that. If there's something of interest there, let me know, leave me a comment, uh, and I'll go through those and, um, and see what I can do. Thanks again. Please don't forget uh, to like my video, subscribe to my channel, and of course, leave me some comments. Thank you.